Now let's see what happens when we add an antagonist, like atropine, into the system. So here's the data for one nanomolar atropine. So in the presence of one nanomolar atropine, we've got this concentration of acetylcholine, we've got this response. We can turn these doses into log to the base 10. So do what we did previously. We've got responses in millimeters. We've got to convert that into percentage of maximal control response. We know from the previous data that the maximum control response was 80 millimeters. Convert that to percentages as before, and we have this new data set. So let's go ahead and graph that. So we graph it as before, percentage maximum response against log to the base 10 of the dots. We can see here, in the presence of atropine, the ED50 is now roughly about 1.69. The log to the base 10 of the ED50 is 1.69 from the graph. Take the anti-log of that, which is a formula right up there, where G43 is 1.69, and we find the ED50 is 49 nanomolar. Is that sensible? We have about 42 and 70, so it's going to be roughly in about here. Yeah, so that's a pretty reasonable answer. Remember, this is only an estimate. We're reading this off a curve. To get a proper measure, we have to do something and make that into straight line. But that's all good. I've got a good estimate of the ED50. Now, what has happened to that curve? So if we go back to the last curve, which was this one here, and we can do something really simple. We just highlight it, go Command C, copy, and then we go to our new curve, highlight it, go paste. And look at that, the two graphs are now one. Now what has happened to that graph when we've added in atropine? Let's move to the right, look at that, the Emax, is unchanged. Now what does that tell us about atropine? What type of inhibitor is atropine? Okay, let's have a look at what this says. And the concentration of an ag antagonist atropine is present in a fixed concentration, which we've got here. The dose response curve shifts to the right this means that higher doses are required to get the same effect. So you can get the same effect, you just have to use more acetylcholine. The Emax is the same, even in the presence of the antagonist. You can still get 100% response. So from this shift and the fact that the Emax is maintained, we know atropine is a competitive, reversible antagonist. Okay, what about the higher concentration of atropine? Well, there's a bit of a trick in here. It was given in micromolar. So we've got to convert that to nanomolar because we're going to plot these things on the same scale. We need to have the same units. Those converted into log to the base 10 of those. Response converted into percentage of maximum response. And here we can see the graph for two nanomolar atropine is moved even further to the right. So that was the previous one, which was one nanomolar atropine. I remember we had an ED50 of about 49, and this one with the two nanomolar atropine, we've got an ED50 of about 500. So this is 2.7, and you do the antilog of 500. So it's the same type of antagonist, obviously, because this drug shift to the right, Emax is maintained. Okay, the last example was a drug called Allantag. So what we do here is exactly what we did before. Work out log to the base 10, work out the percentage maximum response, plot them on the same graph, and you see something quite different. You see the total response curve is shifted to the right, but the Emax is decreased. So what does this tell us about Allantag as an antagonist? But when the antagonist Allantag is present in a fixed concentration, the dose response curve is moved to the right. This means that higher doses are required to get the same effect. 
So this sort of effect here, you can get it, but you need a whopping amount of pastel cooling. The Emax, however, is not the same. So in the presence of the antagonist, it's not possible to get a 100% response. So you can add as much of astral cooling as you want, you will never, ever, ever get a 100% response. And this tells us that this type of antagonist is non-competitive.